All right. We're back, everyone. With a happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And a little preview of upcoming models. Oh, let me get my tool box. My tool caddy. <laughs> Got my clip. Binder clip. Paper clip. Dice. And my pen cap. Hey, those are great tools for making these money origami on the channel because that's what I use. You might also need some tweezers or forceps occasionally. But, um, hey, check out this bowl. I was going to try to have one of these ready for Thanksgiving surprise video, but... Uh, you know, it's uh, 4.22 in the morning, and I've got to get some sleep. And uh, this bowl is awesome. Uh, it's on sweet paper. I'll put a link in the description because uh, they folded it with paper. And basically, they challenged me to make this box top out of a dollar. And the problem is, well, you would have had, I knew it before I made this, that I would have to change this or this to make it fit together but they're not going to fit no way with with money but the paper tutorials on there it's pretty neat uh technique but if you just want to make the bowl out of a dollar you can follow their instructions exactly uh for the little strip of paper it starts about ten and a half minutes in and you can make it come out just like this it's it's really cool i'll probably do a tutorial later anyway because who knows if everybody will go watch that and it ain't a dollar so but if you didn't stick around on the previous video to the end then you didn't see how to make it look like this on both sides on the twist fold and so there's lots of little things that come out in the videos uh, at any time in the video and so it turns out also you can open up the bottom to make it stand up instead of bending the corners. That's why I just straightened that one out. So it's pretty cool. I still like this a lot. And it's doing pretty well. We're getting some more subscribers, so thank you. And I put the watermark finally where you can just subscribe by clicking right there now, finally. I don't know why I didn't do that before. But I made it several of those little uh, box tops. And what you can do is transform it into a star. So I, I don't know if I'm going to do this. But the plan is to make this into something even way cooler. And I've got the idea. I haven't made one yet. Uh, it's pretty difficult. And uh, it may be impossible to close it up, what I'm planning to do with it. But that is an awesome star. So if I can't get the other part, then maybe we'll do this with the buck. Um, really, the instructions are in that other video that I mentioned earlier. The problem is uh, you'll just have to figure out what dimensions to make the uh, folds at, which is you know part of doing the money work going. But these are pretty cool. I made one out of paper here. This is dollar size paper too. And uh, yeah, I made another one right there. And it can be a box or a star. And that's dollar size paper, yeah. But since, uh, you know, you're here and all. Oh yeah, there's the pre first little bowl. That That looks really cool. Designing with graph paper, I highly recommend you try that. It's it's pretty fun. It's cool. You can draw out stuff first so that you can keep your bearings while you're trying to make up stuff. Anyway, this bowl is really cool. Uh, you know, see how it's curved up? And, of course, I showed the dollar one. I forgot one fold in there. That's why this one's not quite as nice looking as this one right here at the center hexagon. I forgot to do that fold. But here are some cool ones that I did work on. And I was going to do 
one or both of these. I really wanted to get this one done. I forgot about this for a long time that I wanted to make this for Thanksgiving like a bounty basket and uh, it's really cool it's it's pretty frustrating to get the last part done on it so uh, yeah I really got tired of work on that one it wore me out so that that is really a nice basket and here is the tool caddy I mean that is pretty cool and even though, you know, it appears a little sloppy here, might not be able to clean that up, but the handle is super strong. And so it's not coming apart. It's cool. Instead of that traditional same old basket with the weird white handle. And this basket blows that away, right? All right, well, uh, let me see if there's anything else cool to show off. Well, if we want to use a little double-sided tape or glue, we can make a super precision cube. The problem is, there's, there's no way to close the ends. And even on Jeremy Schaefer's, his biggest cube you can make with the money. Now, this is a more precision outcome, actually. Uh, all dimensions are equal. But there's no way to close it, just like on his, too, really. Um, so yeah, this tool caddy is uh, a little bit of fakery going on. It's really cool though, right? I'm going to keep it. And what I had to do was uh, glue that right there. <laughs> but it makes it much taller and uh, really big. Pretty cool. This side looks better. Except for that part. As a tool caddy. But this the one I worked out is pretty cool, I, I believe, right? It's it's pretty frustrating too. These are these are hard models, and uh, I don't know if they're going to have more than one part. Now this one, most of it goes pretty smooth. So uh, happy Thanksgiving! Hope everybody has uh, family to meet with and everything. And oh yeah, that's right. If you want to give batteries to someone, if they need AA batteries, my telescopic box is perfect. It holds four AA batteries. Beautifully. <laughs> so that is a great way to give batteries, that's for sure. All right, well, that's about all I got. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, well, I think I might put a poll on this video and see what model I should build next. Not that I'm saying I'll do it, but if I do get 10 or more vote, votes on one of these models, I'm really highly more inclined to make one, so... Ton of mile, a ton of votes on one of these, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll uh, do that one next. So uh, anyway, so I hope you did fold this because it's it's just interesting looking in my opinion. It still has the pocket in the middle, so you can stick a little uh, tag phone number in there, just a little strip. All right, so, uh, all right, hope everybody's in good mood, feeling good, everything's all right. All right, take care, happy Thanksgiving, bye-bye. All right, well, we're just giving a few seconds to make sure people can see the end screen without it uh, blocking anything I was really doing. All right, that should do it, bye.